Let's get a sound check. Q talent. Lucky number race 13. At the rail here with Eric Abatello's horse, like clockwork. Actually, he's a nice old horse. He's tough. He's kind of one speed. I just get beat with him out of the 10 hole in this same class, uh, you know, but six or seven weeks ago now, but since then he's won. Corey Callahan was parked with him the whole race and, and won uh, same class, so should be good. It, it's a wide open race. But this guy is one speed. We're gonna go forward with him. I'd rather be in the middle than on the rail with him, honestly, but it is what it is. I'm gonna give this big guy a little score here, see if I can uh, get him thawed out on his tippy toes. This guy feels sharp, feels good. Hopefully get him way uh, forwardly placed and we're gonna be uh, on the move with him. Oh yeah, he feels really good. Easy boy. Scott Zeron's mic'd up. All right, I got one here. It's the first time I've sat behind him. I always like to ask the trainer, just personality traits. Just how is he to handle? Uh, aggressive, lazy, good gated, and kind of what they expect. So uh, James told me he might be a little bit short and to just kind of race him on the end of it late. And uh, yeah, he's uh, pretty keen scoring down. He told me he would be. And I see Mark got his all revved up. But I don't think we're going to the same spot. <laughs> well, Mac Attack's gonna be pushing hard off the rail there with Abatello's. And I will be looking for a nice second over trip. Tell you what though, we're coming off a pretty big high here. Just won with my own horse in the last race, and he raced probably one of the best he's ever raced for me, so that was pretty exciting. So we got a little adrenaline pump in here for this one. Seeing Yannick going by there. Yeah, see, I heard I was taking some shots on this uh, mic'd up thing by uh, Jingra and Corey. That was good, it was nice of them. They both looked stupid and got beat, so that was good with me. I'll tell you what, racing this horse off the pace is gonna be a little tough of how aggressive he is, but we're gonna do what the trainer said. Ooh, David's horse is really charged up here, the three. Ah. I think this horse is having flashbacks of Luke Hanner's driving him. He's petrified right now. Yo, he's really charged up. Ah, I'd love to move on him, but ah, I'm gonna anyway, screw it. Montana, Joe Bongiorno, not for long. Here comes Light Clock work on the move up with Mark McDonald. Hot quarter 26 and 4. Light Clock work. 26 and 4. Wow. Zipping for this class. Well, Mac Attack's making his move. He loves cutting the miles on all these. If he's got a mic on, I'll tell you what, he's going to be on front. I had to pay for it, but it's okay. This guy, he likes it up here. These are salty numbers, though. 26 and 4. What and a half and 54. Wow, 54 and 3. That half's going to test his stamina. <laughs> Still feels good, though. All right, we got a little nice cover. Davey's coming. I think I called second over, and we're getting it. Let's just hope it's good flow. I was just in a spot. I was going to have to come first over. Oh, we got a little baby go here. Mark's struggling already. Come on, Mark. Mine's got some go. Yeah! Yeah!
Ah, the path was too much. Should have stayed in. No. I usually know if I win or lose, but I'll tell you what, that was pretty close. I got a really big horse, so hopefully he's also got a, a big nose. Well, regardless of win or lose, uh, I'm sure the trainer will be happy. The horse raced extremely well, so it was good. We got a nice trip, and we'll be back to do it again next week.